And today, as we mentioned, marks a historic day as Ohio approaches its milestone in this pandemic. Austin Love has three things to know about COVID-19 this morning. Good morning, Austin. Yeah, hey, good morning to you, Maureen. Uh, a lot to get to this morning. As you mentioned, Ohio is nearing a very grim milestone in the fight against COVID-19. One million COVID-19 cases here in the state of Ohio. We are on the brink of hitting that later on today with less than 250 cases to go. We're expected to cross that dark milestone later today. More than 18,000 people have died from COVID-19 statewide. And the good news is that with the vaccine rollout, new infections, hospitalizations, and deaths are now dropping. But how much difference a year can make today is the one year anniversary of Governor DeWine announcing the stay at home order. Here's that. Here's the governor from that fateful day one year ago. Dr. Acton just signed a stay at home order for all Ohioans. Yeah, and with that announcement, it closed most businesses, put a strain on grocery stores, and forced millions of Ohioans to work from home if you could. Governor DeWine said in that announcement yes, uh, last year, and said, we haven't faced an enemy like we are facing today in 102 years. We are at war. And also, speaking of Governor DeWine, he'll be making his stop in Youngstown later today. DeWine is scheduled to meet with Mayor Tito Brown to visit a COVID-19 vaccination site at Eugenia uh, Atkins Recreation Center later on this morning. So Maureen, what a difference a year can make. Um, in, in some aspects, it seems like a lifetime ago that Governor DeWine made that announcement, but certainly making strides in the right direction. More on this, we can head, head to our website, WKYC.com. Maureen. Yeah, in a lot of ways we have moved forward, but it's, I mean, it's hard to imagine what it was like before we ran out the door without a mask. So we'll be covering it as we go throughout yeah, the week. Absolutely.